Lord, like the song says, Father, sit at your feet and Lord, just feel you, Lord. Be intimate with you every single day of our lives, Lord. And, and know that you are God, that you alone are God, that no one can ever change you. And Father, that our situations may change, that our lives may change, that our, that our husbands may change, that our kids may change, that we may change. And Father, but you are always the same, Lord. And Father, we just want to come before you, God, and, and, and lay at your feet, Father, and hear you, and be one with you, Father. And Lord, we just want to, Lord, just make love to you, Father, in, in, in a spiritual way, Lord, and, and always walk in your ways, Father. And, and Lord, know that we serve a mighty God, Lord, that when we're tired, and when we're just, Lord, that we can't take the world anymore, that we can't take our situations anymore, Father, and, or even ourselves, Lord, we become so tired. But God, we know that you are in control. And Father, that you look at us, Lord, and that you're just so in love with us that we are the apple to your eye, Lord. Father, that you're intimate with us every single day, that we can just come before you in any given moment, at any given time, Lord, and we just thank you for that, Lord. For dying on a cross, Lord, for forgiving us, Lord. We are forgiven. We are freed from the people that we used to be, Lord. And we just praise you, God. We worship you, Lord. And we thank you. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. If 
I said it, I'm going to do it. Tell me a time, Nadia, he said. I have to make people to you. Like, can you, seriously? I've been walking the door 10 years. It's like, give me one time I have to make people to you. And I'm saying, I'm like, you know what? It's like, I'm like, Lord, forgive me with God. And I'm trying to even try to find a time he has a good faith. Or like, well, you let this happen, remember? But then he said, but I redeemed that. Remember? I'm like, okay, what about this? He said, yeah, but I redeemed that. Remember? I'm like, okay. So he says, I have loved you. That's the first thing you do want us to tell. Then he goes down to verse, um, the end of six. He says to the priest, <laughs> he says to the priest, you will despise me. Despise my name? Yeah, you say, in what way have we despised a name? And despise means to think little of his name, right? And they say, but how did we despise you, Lord? I mean, seriously, you said we despise you. And he says, well, you used to bring your lame lambs to me. The lame's in one eye. You used to bring the broken lambs to me, one with a broken leg. You used to bring me the diseased animals that were placed on my altar. As if that's good enough for me, you will give me your second best, right? You will give me your second best. Like if they knew the lamb was blind, you're probably gonna fall off a cliff anyway. Let me just give it to the Lord, right? Or if this one's gonna die, let me just give it to God and sacrifice it, right? So let me just give it to him. And the Lord said, No, I have you're despising my name by doing this. And you know, God really stretched my heart with this. And it's like, are you giving me your second best? And that's something we should always ask ourselves, Lord, am I giving my second best in my time? Right? In my time? Am I giving you second best in my energy? When I could give so much to everybody else, but yet I have to watch my devotionals or even to come before you in prayer, am I giving you my second best? Now, we don't bring lambs anymore, thank God, to the altar, right? With the busted eye. But we are the sacrifice, and we're supposed to be at the altar, and yet we're like half in the altar. We're like, one leg in, one leg out, and God is saying, no, I want the whole thing. I want you, you know? And this is something that really starts with me that, um, he wants me. With busted everything, he wants me. Not, not that we don't bring lambs anymore, like I said, but you bring yourself, broken and all, to the altar. And we sacrifice it there. We are a sweet sacrifice to the Lord now. We don't do what they used to do, right? The priesthood and they would bring lambs and all that. We are the special sacrifice now. And then he goes on to verse 12, right? And he says, You profane it, which is talking about the table. And then you say, The table of the Lord is the Files and its food, its food is contemptible. You also say, oh, what a worthiness, and you sneer at it. Here the priest, look at God's altar, and they was like, oh. So remember, the priest in those times had to bring the bread to the shofar, remember? They had to bring oil to the oil lamp. They had to bring incense to the, to the bowl. This is an everyday thing. And the Lord, in my service to the Lord, the Lord is like, you complain sometimes of your mundane things of life. How many times am I going to change the word? Do I really have to home school? Do I really have to go food shopping one more time? Do I really have to stir food again? Right? Do I have to clean again? Why is it always me? I'm doing everything. Right? This is the mundane things of life. 